And hello there YouTube, hashtag CJ McKay here for another vlog. This is the second vlog I'll be doing about zombies. Today I'm going to be discussing my top 5 favourite zombie video games of all time. These won't be in any particular order except for chronological, so I'll be doing these in the order I played them. Um, the first on the list is Resident Evil 2. This is the first video game I ever played. This is what started my love for zombies and the apocalypse genre and for video games in general. It really fueled the fire for what I love about video games in first person and third person shooters. Um, Resident Evil 2 was a really old school game. It was released originally on the PlayStation 1. Um, I don't know if many people have played the older Resident Evil games, but they have changed a lot since the older games. Aside from the fact that it has really old school arcade style graphics, it, this was one of the first, this was a two disc game guys, that used to be a real oddity in the olden games of PlayStation 1 gaming, I can think of maybe two, three games that had more than one disc on the original PlayStation, aside from that, it was really scary, the zombies were slow moving, but they still managed to be intimidating, the bosses were just so well thought out and incredible to tire into, just smash through walls, oh, it was incredible, and aside from that, the people, the human beings in it were just brilliant, one of the first people you meet is a shopkeeper, and he's just gone insane, he only goes pointing a shotgun at you, thinks you're a zombie, and then you're playing as Leon, Leon Burns I believe, he is in a lot of later Resident Evil games, like Res 4, which is just brilliant, um, and you play as Jill Valentine throughout the game, and she also brilliant, and in the later games, such as Resident Evil 5. Um, these games have changed a lot over the years. Um, aside from the graphics getting better, the stories have changed so much. The zombies themselves aren't anything like they used to be. They're officially infected with things not like the... Um, T-Virus, which just created your slow-moving standard zombies, they're infected with things like Uroboros, which is this whole new thing, which I don't strictly count as zombies. But I'll be playing Resident Evil 2 and 5 pretty soon, guys, so I'll get to talking more about this as I play them. The second uh, video on my list is Dead Rising. Dead Rising was the first Xbox 360 video game I ever played. I got it uh, when it was a Platinum Edition, back when Platinum games used to be a thing. Um, another old school game, but Dead Rising 3 has come out recently and Dead Rising 2 was just as brilliant. Um, I currently can't find my a copy of Dead Rising 1 to play, but I have two there, so I'll definitely be doing videos on that soon. Um, this was a game that I loved for one big reason. Melee weapons. This was a game you could pick up nearly everything and just smash a zombie over the head with it or stab it through the gut. It was glorious. It, but from a 2x4 to a bench to a flat screen TV to a, a big umbrella parasol, you could do a lot with that game in terms of hitting zombies. And I love melee weapons. I prefer them over shooting in zombie games. So um, that's why Dead Rising is definitely one of my favourite zombie games of all time. It was, one of the achievements in it was called Zombie Genocide, and I think you have to kill like 72,000 zombies, which will give you an idea of just how much of a horde game this was. These were, again, slow-moving zombies. They got a bit stronger during the night when their eyes went red and a little bit faster too, but they, it was just overwhelming with the amount of zombies. But it was always kind of okay and easy to play because you could just pick up anything, like a, a trash can and throw it like at three zombies and run away. It was it was pretty good for things like that. So I love that game too. Um, the next on my list is Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead is just a brilliant team game, guys. It's made by Valve who make absolutely brilliant games. They made things like Team Fortress 2 in the Half-Life series, but Left 4 Dead 2 for me encapsulates team gaming. Not Left 4 Dead 2, Left 4 Dead 1. Left 4 Dead 1, the, how the systems work are just so brilliantly designed and how the mathematics and point scoring scheme is designed is really built towards helping each other out. Left 4 Dead 2 kind of forgot some of those features, but introduced a lot of new things to make up for it. The Left 4 Dead series is just superb, from the absolutely brilliant characters like Bill, the Nam veteran, and Francis, the crazy loner biker, Zoe, the college student who seems angry and like she actually is prepared for a zombie apocalypse, she just kicks ass, and then Lewis, the guy who's just so unprepared for this, he, you can tell by his clothing and his demeanour, he's kind of a rich guy who's just, he doesn't really, he's not able to handle it, and... Those four different contrasting characters really make you feel 
almost scared by the days after the you know zombie uh, zombie outbreak when things get really dark and lonely and there's only four people left and it's up to you to band together to kill not just the awesome hordes of fast moving zombies but the scary as hell special infected like the tank the witch oh so many I've had hundreds of hours of good times on Left 4 Dead with people and um, I used to play it on the Xbox now I play it on Steam and I love it Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 um, they're, Left 4 Dead 1 is third place Left 4 Dead 2 is just an honourable mention here on this list the next up on my list is Half-Life 2 I absolutely loved Half-Life 2 although it's released before Left 4 Dead I didn't play it beforehand it's not as good graphics and it's far more story based than Left 4 Dead Left 4 Dead's more of a linear based zombie game whereas Half-Life isn't really zombie based but it has got some zombie like creatures in it that I just loved Head crab zombies. They are freaky as hell, guys. Um, I don't know if you can classify these as zombies, but they are the living dead. They are fast, they are slow moving, they have reanimated corpses who are infected by another entity, such as a virus or symbiote, that makes them want to kill you. I love them. I don't know, this is the first thing in the zombie list that's a little bit ambiguous about whether it's a zombie or not, but I will be doing a debate on what actually the, decides what is a zombie, what's an infected, and what's unnameable, what's just something else entirely, and I'll be doing a debate vlog with that pretty soon, so look out for that, and I may even be doing it with the um, art channel artist, Ashy Blue. But the reason I've brought Half-Life into this uh, top, uh, top 5 list is because it's just absolutely incredible, guys. The zombies are so scary. They shout, and if you actually, there's this really cool easter egg I found where if you flip the zombie screams around, they actually are shouting things in English. I'll play it right now. It's horrifying. <laughs> And um, aside from the horrifying zombies, Half-Life 2 has such a good story. The Half-Life series in general do. It's also made by Valve, same as Left 4 Dead, so they share some of the same graphics engines and physics engines. But it's a completely different game, and the zombies are worlds apart. But I still love it, and it's still brilliant. I can't express how much I love Half-Life, especially for We Don't Go to Ravenholm. I think that's chapter 4 or 5 in the game. It's so scary, guys. Oh, it's so scary. Me and Ashy Blue are going to be doing um, a, a two-player thing on that using the mod Synergy. I'll be doing a whole Let's Play series on the Half-Life series soon, and possibly even doing just We Don't Go to Ravenholm as a minor special and a pilot episode here in Zombie Month. Um, the next on my list is House of the Dead Overkill. Such a brilliant zombie game. I played this on the Wii, and I think it is only on the Wii, but the House of the Dead series are really old-school video games now. These are the ones in arcades where you used to be holding a gun on a mount with a big wire and actually shooting at zombies. That's why it transferred to the Wii so well. It is one of the best zombie games I've ever played. It's hilarious. It's got some great jokes in it. I'm hoping to be recording on it for the, towards the end of Zombie Month, if I can record on the Wii, but... I might not be able to since I don't play much of my Wii anymore and I might actually have to rebuy the game since I can't find it. But I hope to because it's so good guys. I'd recommend House of the Dead Overkill to anyone with a Wii who enjoys zombie games. Try find the copy. It's brilliant. I'd recommend all these games to everyone. And like I said, these aren't in a particular order other than the fact I played them in that order. This is the order I played them in starting from a kid to just a few years ago. Back when I got a Wii when it was new. Um, I loved all of the games but I really have to say in terms of comedy in terms of humor House of the Dead Overkill is one of the best oh it's disgusting it's hilarious it's it's vile but it's a brilliant game and um, this has been a I've loved doing this vlog everyone I really hope you've enjoyed it and um, they're my top five video games why not make your own list of top five zombie video games you know do your own zombie moon feature or just do a couple of zombie games for your own channel coming up to Halloween. That's why I'm doing it. That and I love zombies. Um, I really hope you've all enjoyed this. I might do some more of these top five things like my top five movies or TV shows pretty soon. But the next one is a vlog I'm hoping to do is the evolution of zombies. How they 
grew throughout the ages, from your original animated corpses like Frankenstein up to the new movies like World War Z and video games like Left 4 Dead and Resident Evil. Um, I'll be playing Resident Evil 2 and 5, as I said earlier, to talk about just the evolution of zombies in that one. So, the debate of what a zombie is starts right now, guys. I'll be doing lots of videos on that subject, and I really hope you all enjoyed this vlog, like I said before. And I hope you look out for the other vlogs. I'm thinking of making more top 5s, but I don't know. It depends the reception on, I get on this, really, more than anything. If it gets a couple of likes, I might make some more. If it gets a few dislikes, I'll know to stop wasting all of your time. Um... Have a great day, everyone, and so long for now.